Hello all, welcome back to another video. Conducting regular meetings and conferences is very important to strengthen the relationship with employees and clients. So an efficient schedule management and planning system is required for that. Here the calendar module in Odoo 15 is the best to manage all the internal and external meeting and to schedule appointments. So here you can use this module to schedule activities related to the company programs in a single step. So here we are going to discuss about the features of calendar module in Odoo 15. So while opening the module, it shows all the meetings scheduled in different operation. Here we can view the schedules based on day, week, month and year. To get the details of meetings scheduled on a specific date, we can select the date from the calendar. And here we can see the uh, list of attendees added to a scheduled meeting. And here we can add more attendees by clicking on the add icon. So from the drop down menu, we can uh, choose the attendees. And uh, here we can click on particular meeting to get more details. So a window will appear and it shows the details like schedule date, attendees name, description, privacy, status. Uh, here we can see the tags and the organizer details. And here we can use the edit button to edit the details. And to schedule a new meeting or activity, you can uh, select a date from the calendar. And in the pop-up window, you can mention the subject of the meeting or activity and click on the edit button to add more details. And it is also possible to create or uh, schedule new meeting uh, by clicking on uh, add icon. Apart from the calendar view, we have the list view. So in the list view, we can see the details like subject, start date, end date, attendees name, location and the duration. So here we can choose the filters like my meetings, date, uh, busy, free, public, private and so on and here we have the option to group it according to responsible and availability. So before creating or scheduling a new uh, activity we can go to the configuration and here we have the reminders. It is a feature helps to send reminders to the clients about the scheduled appointment. So it is possible to use more than one reminder on an appointment and it is helpful for the client from forgetting the date appointment. So here we can create new uh, calendar alarm. For that uh, here we can choose the type. So while choosing the notification type we can provide the additional message. And by selecting the email, you can set the email template from the drop down menu. Likewise, we can choose the SMS text message and can set the SMS template here. And here we can set the reminder before uh, according to minute, hours and days. Apart from the reminders, here we have the appointment invitation option. So here we can see the appointment type, time zone and category. So if you want to create new appointment invitation, you can click on the create icon and provide the details here. Now let's move on to the calendar to create or add new uh, meeting. For that here we can provide the meeting subject. Here uh, we can see the or uh, select the attendees and here we have the email and SMS option. So it helps to send a notification to the attendees about the meeting. So here you can send the mail for the attendees. Likewise, we have the option to send the SMS. So here we can provide the meeting message.
and in the meeting details tab we can set the starting date ending date and here we can set the duration and here we have the option to enable the all day so uh, if the meeting lasts only for few hours uh, there is no need to enable this option so here we can see the organizer's name and here we can set the reminders, location, meeting URL and also here we can provide the tags. And here we can set a description uh, for the meeting subject. Now let's move on to the option tab. Under this tab we can activate the recurrent field. So if you want to repeat the meeting at a regular in interval you can choose this option or we can enable this option and here we can set the repetition according to day week month and years so here we can choose the days and here we can set the until as number of repetition end date and forever and here we can set the privacy as public private and uh, only internal uses likewise we can show uh, the status as available and busy here in this invitation field, uh, it shows the details of attendees invited to the meeting. So uh, the status of the invitation show whether the attendee accepted, uh, rejected or need actions on the invitation. And here we have the option to accept and decline uh, the meeting. So after providing the details, we can save this. So here we can see the newly scheduled meeting here. Now let's move on to the online appointment menu. This feature helps to reduce the difficulties in scheduling meeting with the clients. So here we can see the already created online appointments. So can create a new one for that can mention the appointment type in this field. Let it be a demo appointment. And here we can create new opportunities and assign them to the responsible employee by activating the create opportunities field. And when we comes to the scheduling tab, we can set the appointment duration in hours and here we can set the uh, schedule appointment and in the schedule appointment field you can mention the time to schedule the appointments and here we have the option to allow cancelling the meeting uh, until a specific time and here we can set the time zone from the option and here we can provide the reminders, a location and here we can uh, we have the assignment method field. It defines how employees will be assigned to meetings, customers book on your website. So it can be uh, set as random and chosen by the customer. Here this uh, calendar module uh, allows the visitors from selected countries. So from here we can select the countries. And here we can choose the employees by clicking on add a line option. So from this pop-up window, we can choose the employees. Now let's move on to the availability tab. So here the uh, availability of appointment in a week can be mentioned here. So by clicking on the add a line option, we can choose the available days. Here you can add questions for the appointment. So by clicking on the add a line option, a new pop-up window will appear. So in this question field, you can provide the question.
and here we can choose the question type like single line text multi line text uh, drop down radio and checkbox and here we can uh, mention the placeholder and can enable the required required answer field if the answer is compulsory here we have the uh, message tab so this tab allows to give an appointment introduction about this app uh, this uh, scheduled appointment and uh, it gives an idea to the clients about what the meeting is about so here we can say, uh, enter the appointment introduction Likewise, we can set the appointment confirmation. So after providing the, uh, providing all the details, we can save this. And when we go to the website, we can publish this. Now we can go back. So here we can see the uh, newly created online appointment. Now let's move to the reporting tab. Here we will get you all the reports of online appointment and all appointment uh, separately on this platform. So first we can go to the online uh, appointment reporting. So here it gives the uh, report about the count and duration of the online appointments. So here we can choose various field uh, measures filters group by and favorite option now let's move on to the all appointments here we can view the details of all appointments so here also we can choose the measures and here we can uh, view it according to bar chart line chart pie chart and also you can sort it according to the descending and ascending way and here we can choose the filters like my meetings date busy free and so on and here we can group it according to responsible and availability here uh, we have the graph view pivot view calendar view and also the list view so we have been discussing about the features of calendar module in order 15 so that's all about the video thank you for watching